as part of our worship this morning, we're going to celebrate communion together. So can I suggest you pause the uh, video at this point and go and get yourself some bread and some juice so that together we can celebrate the fact that in Christ we have forgiveness of sins, we've been reconciled to God, and that we can pause and remember this together. So pause the video for a moment and then we will continue together um, either on video um, here or you knowing that you've got those around you as well who can celebrate this with you. In that song that we just listened to, Christ, my living hope, the words said, how great the chasm that lay between us, how high the mountain I could not climb. But the cross has spoken. I am forgiven. Hallelujah, praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah, death has lost its grip on me. You have broken every chain. There's salvation in your name, Jesus Christ, my living hope. And that's what we celebrate together as we share this meal this morning, that we have Jesus Christ as our living hope. Coming back to that passage that Mark was speaking on earlier on there uh, from Ephesians 2, where Paul says, by our very nature, we were subject to God's anger, just like everybody else. But God, Paul says, is so rich in mercy, and he loved us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. It is only by grace that you have been saved. For he raised us from the dead along with Christ, and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we're united with Christ Jesus. Elsewhere we read um, in 1 Peter chapter 3, For Christ died for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous. Why? In order to bring us to God. And that's the simple meal that we share here, bread before us, juice to remind us of the um, sacrifice that Jesus made both in body in terms of his body being given for us and his blood being shed for us for the forgiveness of sins. Father we thank you for this meal. We thank you that this is a place where we can find reconciliation with you but what does it mean we need to come and we need to confess our sins before you. We need to recognise that Jesus is both Saviour and Lord and that he has paid the price so that we can know that there is forgiveness full and free in him. So we thank you for this bread and for this juice. And as we celebrate this meal together now, we pray that we may know your presence as we eat and drink together. In Jesus' name. So remember, it was that in the Passover meal that Jesus, with the disciples, took bread. Uh, that Passover meal was there celebrating the fact that the people of Israel had been freed from slavery and brought as free people into the promises of God. And so that is the same for us. We, as we break this bread, remember that Christ has set us free. We are no longer slaves to sin, but we are free in him. So Jesus took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Take it and eat. Likewise, after supper, he took a cup and he said, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant that has been shed for the forgiveness of sin. So this morning we take bread and we take juice and we eat and drink, remembering what Christ has done for us. In repentance, in faith, knowing it's by grace, we eat and drink together now. <laughs> 